All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of solving an equation that involves two absolute value expressions. So at first, it's not going to look like there's two, but wait just a second here. So suppose we have the absolute value of the fraction p plus 1 divided by 3 minus p equals 12. Well, there's only one absolute value in there, but to get started, if you have the absolute value of a fraction, you can break this up as the absolute value of the numerator over the absolute value of the denominator. This is an equi equivalent algebraic way to break up absolute value of fractions. Equals 12. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by this quantity, the absolute value of 3 minus p. So that's just going to move over. So I've got the absolute value of p plus 1 equals 12 times the absolute value of 3 minus p. At this point, what we do is we create two separate equations to solve. We take p plus 1 equals 12 times the quantity. We just basically uh, remove the bars on both of them. You can imagine they're both in parentheses. The other equation that we're going to solve is we're going to remove the bars. p plus 1 equals 12. But on one of these, um, we're going to stick a negative in front of it. So instead of just writing 3 minus p like we did the first time, I'm going to write 3 minus p, but there's a negative associated with it. And now this is going to give me my two equations that I have to solve. So on the left, we have p plus 1. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times negative p will be negative 12p. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 12p to both sides. So that'll give me 13p. At the same time, I think I'll subtract 1 from both sides. So that'll give me 13p equals 35. And if I divide both sides by 13, that'll give me that p equals 35 over 13 as one of my solutions. And the other solution here, this is p plus 1. We could write that as negative 12 times 3 minus p. So now if I distribute things out, we have p plus 1. Negative 12 and 3 is negative 36. Negative 12 and negative p is positive 12p. And the same thing. So let's add 36 to both sides. That'll give me positive 37. I'm going to subtract 1p from both sides. That'll give me 11p. And now if I divide both sides by 11, I'll get 37 divided by 11 equals p as my second solution to this absolute value equation.